and today we're in search for one of my favorites, the largest species of venomous snake on the planet. Check that out guys, awesome, little baby king cobra. Hiding in the leaf litter, oh, I hope the mum's not around here somewhere. So this is a baby, this is a hatchling, this is only like a week old. And usually they have a clutch of over 50 eggs, so there's probably a bunch of these guys around here. now. Perfect conditions, obviously running water. We've got some bamboo. Look at that, little ripper. So they are venomous, obviously. This time of year they're hatching out. The clutches of eggs can be up to sort of 70 individuals, so quite a big clutch. Now the female makes the nest and she protects it, just like crocodiles do. They're the, one of the only species of snakes where the females actually make the nest out of decomposing bamboo matter usually and then they protect it and sort of about 60 days incubation and when they hatch out they're around this size about 15, 16, 17 centimeters fully functional venom glands ready to go into the wild and catch their own food so what they'll do is they'll survive on the embryo part of the egg for the first week or so. They slough their skin, they get their first meal. So this little guy here is going to eat any small wolf snakes, any small blind snakes, um, maybe some geckos, little geckos, uh, little frogs. So pretty much whatever moves and he puts his tongue out and he tastes it. If that tastes good, that'll be his first meal ever. Awesome stuff. They've got over 50 little bands at this size, and he's got a fully functional hood as well. The hood will spread out down his neck. So, a lot of the other cobras just have the spoon shaped hood. These guys actually flare right down the neck. That's basically because of the bone structure, he's able to flare out those bones on the neck there using the tendons. Now, they're quite an intelligent snake as well. They'll stand up and look around, they've got quite good eyesight. Hearing is not fantastic, but they can pick up vibrations, and that tongue, of course, is amazing. They pick up scent particles of other animals, and with that tongue, look at his tail, he's just about prehensile, <laughs> tied it onto that bit of bamboo, and my finger, so, oh mate, you go on the stick and off my finger, that'd be nice. Now, he's not aggressive doesn't see me as a threat or a predator being a newborn baby so it's quite placid awesome stuff so if there's anything you guys want to see put some comments below and let us know and we'll see if we can get out in the field and find them for you okay so it's time to release this little guy I might go over here where there's a little bit of bamboo and the creeks down there so perfect conditions obviously where we found him so nice creek running water bamboo Lots of frogs and prey items for him, so take him out. You can see a little bit of that colour. Beautiful yellow colour in the sun there. Okay buddy, catch you later. Good luck, happy hunting. Off he goes. Awesome stuff. Now, uh, if that's a female, she's going to get big up and over five meters. So, pretty amazing. A little snake like this. Can get the world's largest species of venomous snake. All right, let's go and see what else we can find. 
Alrighty, here we are with the king of all venomous snakes. Check him out. What a beast. The king cobra. Ophiophagus hannah, the snake eater. And this is a formidable beast. I'll tell you what, they've got an aura about them. They're just amazing. He's found right throughout pretty much Southeast Asia. He's very intelligent. You can see he's watching the movement all the time. Now this, is, this snake hunts other snakes. He loves eating rat snakes. He'll eat other venomous cobras. He has immunity to some species venom. And that's why he's the king of all the venomous snake species. Whew! What a monster. Now just because he's the most venomous doesn't make him the most dangerous. They're actually quite a shy snake. They stay away from people. They like to stay away from built up areas as well. And they're quite secretive. So compared to say a Russell's Viper, Russell's Viper kill a lot more people than a King Cobra does because they come into contact with people a lot more. Whereas this guy here is secretive. He doesn't want anything to do with humans. He'll generally stay away from them. Now, Sometimes people have uh, chickens which attract rodents, which attract uh, rodent-eating snakes, and those rodent-eating snakes are what the king is looking for. He loves eating other reptiles. Reptiles, lizards and snakes is his specialty. Now getting up and over six meters in length, they lay 50 to 60 eggs. One of the only species of snakes that will actually build a nest, and in that nest, uh, the leaves will decompose just like a crocodile's nest and the female will protect that nest as well. Now, lots of different patterns. The flaring out of the hood on the neck is extended rib bones. Now that's moved by using cartilage and sinews and muscle to flare that out. So there's actually longer bones in his neck. You see he's got that big chunky head. You can see he's got that big chunky head and when these snakes bite, other snakes they bite, they latch on, they grab onto them, they inject their venom and they hang on until that snake stops moving. Then he'll work his fangs against the grain of the scales up to the snake's head and then he'll swallow it down. So it makes sense for snakes to swallow things head first. In his case it's like a nice big long piece of spaghetti but other animals, they're, they're, you know, the grain of the scales the arms fold back, the fur has a, a grain as well, so they work with the grain of the animal to actually swallow it whole. The venom starts the digestion straight away and it generally takes four to five days for a snake, venomous snakes to digest their food. Whereas pythons, they rely just on the stomach acids and take a lot longer. So you can see he said, are you too close Corey? Don't come near my tail. That's what makes this guy so dangerous. He can move forward and strike at the same time. Whereas a lot of other cobras will just have that striking zone like this. So he's watch, watching the movement always. Look at the camera buddy. Over there. Over near the camera. There you go. Yeah. See that right on cue. Action. Alrighty guys, let's go and head into the wild, into the jungle, where this guy lives. The Latin name for the king cobra is Ophiophagus hanna, which translates to snake eater. This intelligent and endangered species actively hunts down other serpents. Using their size, strength and powerful venom, the king cobra simply latches onto its victim and doesn't let go, whilst releasing a lethal dose of toxins and proteins that subdue the prey and begin the digestion process, even before the prey item is consumed. Once subdued, the king cobra will then make his way against the grain of the victim's scales, shuffling the jaws to locate the head of his prey. Some feeding sessions can take up to an hour, depending on the size of the prey and a meal like this rat snake can sustain the king cobra for at least a week.
Once subdued, the king will then proceed to walk his jaws over the other snake, centimetre by centimetre, swallowing his victim whole. These snakes will also predate on other venomous species, such as Indian and monosalate cobras, whose venom is useless against the king, as he is immune. Much is yet to be discovered about this secretive, endangered snake, such as what makes it immune to a number of other venomous snake species. The king cobra may hold the key to discovering safer antivenoms for various snake bite victims, and should be protected for all time. I got him. There we go. Okay, guys, what we're going to do is give you a look at his venom. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh. There we go. There we go. So watch my fingers. That's a bit scary. Have a look at that. Look at that yellow, that venom. There's a lot in there. They say it can kill up to 20 people. There's still pop oh, it's still dropping in there. It's got a good yield. holes he's put in it. Look at those holes. Well, look at him stand up. Now he's got a couple of ticks here. I'm going to do you a favour mate. A couple of ticks. I don't know if you can see that. A little tick on the back of his neck there. The parasite joins to him, sucks his blood. Does you no good at all, does it? So I'll pop him off. He's actually got a couple near his neck. I'll pop those off for you. All right. Have a look at the head on that. That's a big snake. Tricky thing with these guys is letting them go. Probably the safest way to do it. Put his body where it can't wrap around me, like that. Pin his head back down and get out of the way. G'day guys, welcome back to Awesome Animals TV. Here we are once again in the jungles of Southeast Asia. And today we're in search for one of my favourites, the largest species of venomous snake on the planet, the King Cobra. So just cruising along this, uh, just cruising along this creek bank area here. Good spot for a King Cobra. Got lots of bamboo, lots of areas that they like to be in. And it's a later afternoon, so it's a little bit cooler. And uh, it's also start of the wet season so they're breeding at the moment as well now just got to be a little bit careful because the female will protect the nest so keep an eye out for them lucky for me I've got the Japanese safety boots on having those shoes makes you watch where you're walking all right so I wish me luck and uh, let's see how we go uh. Come on, jumping! Jumping! Oh. Oh. <laughs> slowly, slowly! Right the poo now. <laughs> the 
you see his head? Yeah, I'm watching for his head. Oh, his head on your ball. Put them. His head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let him go, let him go, let him go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Corey. Corey. Face to face with the king. Cobra into the den, that's a bit freaky. Thanks for joining us guys, my name is Corey Wild and what we're going to bring to you is awesome and beautiful animals from all over the world, like this guy here, so stay tuned and subscribe, keep it wild, I'll catch you next time.